Player 9, not news, with Neil and Jonas. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. You're coming in live. Coming in hot. In the back of a Uber XL. That's, feels, that's feels, it. It's a Denali. Feels like, yeah. Nice, chill vibes. Welcome to Papaya 9. Welcome to Papaya 9, a five-star Uber <laughs> of podcasts. Right. We're, I, we're so glad to have you here. Yeah. Uh, you're at home. Maybe you're watching this. Maybe you're not. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're listening to this right. and you think, why is he rambling? Why is he rambling? <laughs> well, just so you know, I'm, I'm breaking the fourth wall with the camera. So people at home have something to engage with. The YouTube algorithm actually likes it if you look at them. Uh, yeah. Did you know that about the algorithm? I did not. I no. did not. All right. But the thing is, like, you guys have, like, really big eyes, so you can't look too hard. We do have big eyes. Yeah. I, we should mention that there are... We have a we have a very special special guest. Can they see me yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they know to see me the whole time. We, we can we can block it out right. and then like yeah. How do you guys do? You guys, you guys have like the good edits and stuff, right? Because I was like just sitting there, I think. Yo, can we just blur your face? Yeah, we we for we the like, entire we, podcast. We like to introduce <laughs> our guests halfway through the show. <laughs> see, oh, see anonymous uh, caller. <laughs> Right. Um, man, hey yeah, guys. Michael Longfellow's here. How's it going? Thanks <laughs> so, for man. having me here. Welcome, course, dog. Man. Welcome. Um, dude, yeah, Jonas. We're um, live. Neil, Alan. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Oh. Alan. There, and you did say that yeah, one was man. free. You said that one. You said that one was free. Was a free one, yeah. man. Okay, good. Dude, good, good, good. good. I tell you what, man. Um, a little bummed. A little bummed today. I was supposed to have a comedy show tonight. Man. Yes. I was supposed to have a comedy show. Mm-hmm. Um, by USC. Mm-hmm. And it got canceled because of cops. Oh. <laughs> Police aren't having a good year. <laughs> so, so here's the thing, what I want to know. You guys Wait. got there. You guys got there. Did you guys you, get there? You guys. You, did you, oh, you guys actually? No, no, no. 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 no okay. okay. It's just me. Okay, just you. So you yeah. actually went to the show. Got there. It's a park. It's out of park. Okay. 51st Street mm-hmm. in Los Angeles. And you, ha- you were headlining this part. No. <laughs> well. It's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> park gig. Yeah, you I said could, you were taping your special. I, I did say I was taping. <laughs> yeah. I did say I was taping tonight. Yeah. And uh, made a big fuss about it, but apparently the cops don't, they don't want the gangs to, the gangs aren't allowed to hang out at the park. That's what the cops are the gangs, so they felt it was fair to also tell the open mic comedy show mm-hmm. that they also couldn't hang out at the park, which I think is fair. That is the fairest right. way. Mm-hmm. It's fair. It's not fun. Right. But, you know, the cops, they got to show. Now, if you guys were able to give the gangs a couple minutes on stage, do you think <laughs> right. they would have yeah. let you <laughs> stick around if you just gave them three minutes? Yeah, the gangs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they wanted to be they're working on material, you know what I mean? Right. They're, they're in there. They're hustling, man. Who's, who's, you know, who's doing worse to the park, hanging out all night? Like comedians or gang members? That's I honestly up. don't know. It's a toss-up. I, I think, think comedians bring a lot of equipment. A lot of feet, a lot of chairs. Those yeah. does make those little holes in kind of the grass. <laughs> They're so annoying. It's true, messing with the irrigation. Gangs are kind of probably just what sitting on the benches, kind of right. you know, chilling out. Right, man. Doing some other stuff. Import well, export. My thing is like, I think they should have <laughs> at least watched the show before complaining. Maybe they would have had a good time. Yeah, mm. I think it's a missed opportunity. The right. gang could have, yeah, the gang could have been a great audience. Right. right. Maybe it's someone true. does comedy and they're like, I don't want to do this gang shit anymore. <laughs> Yo, no. we found could've, my dream. He could have saved but now his life. life's lost to the streets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes to the comedy store and like Roseanne didn't takes want him, his him to find <laughs> right. his dream. That's no. They yeah, want no. a job. They want chaos. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the cops survive. It's, it's pure chaos, man. Comedy yeah. doesn't help the cops <laughs> at all. Mm. At all. It doesn't fill their quota. <laughs> Well, it it kind of it kind of bothers me because you know New York, man. They're just like they're doing it all kinds of ways out there. They're doing it on roofs. They're doing it on parks. Dude, New York's nailing it so much harder than we are. It's insane. We got like one close. show outside of the Magic Castle. Right? <laughs> yeah, that like that seven people can do. <laughs> <laughs> they all gotta get swabbed too before. Right, like, right, right. You can't even show up and just watch. You gotta, no. you gotta yeah. Get up to <laughs> Which is awesome. It's just right. like, yeah. It seems like there's a hundred of those going on in New York. <laughs> right, man. Yeah. Yeah. they like have roofs. A f- a f- a burgeoning scene. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's rough, you know? Yeah. So it's one of those things, you know, I'm, you guys, you got stuff, you know, the stuff in parks, you know, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's just not the same. Not quite right. the same. New right. York's doing park stuff though. They're doing, they're doing it everywhere. They're doing I it. I did everywhere. one on the ocean. You did? Yeah. Oh, Too windy. yo. Yeah. yeah. Too, Too windy. Oh, you did a cruise? I think their show is nice. I did their, the early part and it was very, it was like the sun was still out. You're on a boat? 
Uh, no, it's just the beach. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh, a yeah, yeah. Sixteen. They, they could hear like the waves crashing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was very loud, dude. Um, but that also just sounds like you're bombing. You know, you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can't hear the laughs. It's really loud. Yeah, you just like, hear the seagulls going. Maybe some people could could hear the laughs. Maybe I, just didn't, <laughs> maybe I didn't get the laughs that are heard. It's still a beach, yeah. though, right? Like there are yeah, people it was, there. It's who Mal- are, it was a Malibu mm-hmm. beach. So people are there just like hanging out. Yeah, they try to. It's it's, it's like when people are leaving the beach, but yeah, there's some people there hanging. How out. Do, how does right. it f- how does it feel like to perform stand up with your feet in the sand? Like how does that? Do you feel mm. nice? Interesting. Yeah. You know, do you feel? Perks of it. You know? There were a lot of perks to doing it on the beach. Yeah. Well, if it wasn't that windy, I, I, w- I bet it would have been. A <sighs> you got to go early. Experience that's for the, me. That's the key to the beach. You got to right. go early. Yeah. I just done some of those outdoor shows, and I just hate the sound of like the wind hitting the microphone. There. The, yeah, that's the thing. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like you're just talking, all you just hear. It's also that wind is also hitting everyone's ears. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. It is getting amplified. Yeah. yeah it's it's not. Yeah, honestly, whatever happened, I'm happy it, it, it canceled because, you know, we're here now. We are here now. Right. This, I mean, we were going to be here anyway, but <laughs> now right. I just don't have the adrenaline release of <laughs> having done a show. <laughs> wow. It's all just pure adrenaline release. That's you know I didn't, I, you don't need, we don't need one guy here who's done a show tonight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Thinking he's better than everybody. <laughs> our energies. Right. Because we're all still sad. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't expressed ourselves. Oh my god, <laughs> guys! I, I riffed a, a new tag tonight, right. and they loved it. <laughs> they, loved <laughs> they just loved it. I don't know. There's something about the moment. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was I was that comic for a little bit, going around like, guys, I still got it. I still got, I still got it, guys. Still got the magic. It didn't go anywhere, guys. Oh my god, I was god, that guy man. for a little bit. Uh, I did like four shows, like the drive-in ones, mm-hmm. where I was like, yeah, we're still running. You yeah. know, yeah. snowballs moving downhill, and then I finally did one. And it was so obvious that Rust had had settled in. Wow. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, it was kind of like meeting your maker. Like you're like, I can't deny this <laughs> truth any longer. You didn't get any. We're you rusty. didn't get any honks or something. No, you know. Uh, listen, if I bomb, you'll never know it. But, <laughs> but I'll know it, and I'll know it could have been. And on my, it was garbage. On my standards. It you was didn't garbage. sleep that night, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like the next it's not like oh well i'll just go out the next day right it's like i'll carry this for a couple months before i do it <laughs> before you even get the chance to again yeah before i get the chance to to wear it off oh right. man well, you were one of the first you did one of the first shows i did is, is it okay to is it okay to talk yeah, about this okay. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty scared at the time yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want to gotcha. Yeah. This isn't a gotcha <laughs> kind yeah. of show. Yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> it's one big gotcha. <laughs> I think one of three comedians in the country. Dude, yeah, the first wow. to do what you did a show in pandemic. I was absolutely the least famous one. <laughs> <laughs> no question. Dude. Yeah, no question. Because the other ones were like, uh, which is kind of why matter. I felt cool to right. do it. Because I was like, if, if anyone's gonna that's catch, truly underground, bro. If anyone's gonna catch the heat, it'll be these guys. Right, man. He's, Probably, he's, yeah. Michael was doing it for the people, man. Right. I was right. doing it. I was trying to get a check. <laughs> and, you know, just fly under the radar, grab a check. I hadn't gotten my unemployment at that point. It was early. Right. <laughs> it, was, it, was it was early. In the, it was risky. <laughs> Dude, but how were the show, Were audiences were like, were they ready to at hear At that shit? time, it had been. So it was that first feeling of when we might open back up again. Which obviously now looking back, it was like we were fucking so stupid. Right. <laughs> it was so early. Oh, man. But yeah, so all the shows were sold out, which doesn't mean anything because it was 25% capacity. So yeah. my first sellouts were. Dude. What, what is that, 80 people or something? It was like 80 people in a usually a 400 seat room or something. Whatever, wow. 25%. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, yeah. wow, 80 people in a 400 seat. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the, show, the shows were great. I have to, yeah, they were awesome. It, it felt like normal and, and nice, and I wasn't rusty at that point yet. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> not been very long. <laughs> Dude, I, the, back then, that was like the bleach era. That was like... Yeah, it yeah was that like, was everywhere. It was still wiping down your groceries. Right. And, yeah. Masks weren't even a question. Right. It mm-hmm. wasn't even like in the zeitgeist yet. Did we almost try it, though? Anyone almost tried the bleach? The bleach? Yeah. Maybe the light inside. I, I, looked, at, no. I looked at a Tide Pod. I know different. better. <laughs> I, just yeah. looked, I just looked at it differently. I didn't actually consider it doing right. it, but I was like, this is the cure then. He's saying this is, this the, is cure. the cure. 
I'll just take one of these gummies and <laughs> a bleach gummy. gummy. Yeah, I probably would have tried it if someone like formed it into a gummy. Like, well, it must be, you know, someone paid. right, dude. Well, Vimex should have gotten in on the on the bleach gummy. Well, this right. is, this is this is how I found out Michael was still doing stand up and like the worst of it. Like I was I was scrolling through like like my feed or whatever, yeah. and I just see articles of like how bad the numbers are in Arizona. Like it's just like it's just like three articles back to back. Yeah, it was also in Arizona, right? Yeah, and Arizona then, was the first, <laughs> right. to, first Which wave. Was being very Arizona yeah. about the whole yeah. thing. It was articles of like the governor not knowing what to do about the numbers, and then you scroll down like just two more, and then there's like Michael Feli's like, "Thanks for the great weekend in Arizona." Guys. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> untrue. Did not post about it. <laughs> <laughs> did not post about uh, it. Damn. damn, the club may have posted. <laughs> about it. I saw a post I, on my socials. Fuck. I posted nothing. About I it. saw the post. <laughs> so one post the governor's crying the next <laughs> one like, thank you for the great week. Like, yeah literally oh my god like, thank the you gov- for the weekend <laughs> shows in Arizona thank you guys it's so happy to be doing comedy dude I remember I, when I accepted that weekend do you remember the first couple months of this when it was like the break was kind of nice it was like a, a reason to take a break yeah right yeah, right, yeah. right, right and right. I, Clear I, the slate like I was be, finally yeah. doing things and enjoying them for like the first time ever right and so like playing a video game and not hating myself <laughs> It doesn't feel like this, you know, <laughs> well, <laughs> this waste of time. But that, uh, and then I set to that gig, and I remember flipping from this just bliss of these last couple months, which I'd never experienced, of this literally like living life, right? And not thinking about a dumb, stupid joke or a show the next day or the yeah, next yeah, night, yeah. you know, You're just not living the between these points. Yeah. Living. Right. And then I was just right back to misery. I remember <laughs> and like I was having panic, almost panic attacks all week. Cause I was like, I'm going to get fucking in trouble for this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is Does it make it exciting is, though. Isn't it was like exciting. Concerning? Yeah. When I first got the call, I was like, Oh my God, yes. Work again. And then no, like, like walking the line of like, this is wrong. This is like, this could get, <laughs> yeah. right. No, so this could get exciting. fucking. Right. No, just wait. Arrested. Just feels like I'm I, waiting. feels like I have blood all over my hands. And I'm just waiting <laughs> Someone to see, yeah. to see you it. You just blacked out. Like, That's yeah. the guy that did it. Oh. Yeah, guy. I'm just like, oh, I'm getting away with it right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I talked to a lot of comedians. <laughs> I called. I had like big comedians calling me that I'd never talked to before because I was one right. of the three people. That's that crazy. If you Googled, so. It's but I mean, no one's. Yeah, yeah everyone yeah, was. I don't know. Neat. But the thing is, you, I mean, you're you're kind of you know it worked you're, out. You know, I yeah. look, like you know, like everyone else, you're kind of forced into the podcast medium now. You understand with everything going <laughs> right, on, right? Yeah, it's definitely helped. Like, right? Get a, yeah, I had to. You got to figure out all that stuff too. Yeah, like, man. And you can when you're tunnel visioning stand up. But now you're it's been the, a. T- you're gonna be in the podcast game now. In the podcast game, Podfellow right. Podcast. Right. Yeah, coming man. Soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Um, it is like it has been a time of like switching up, pivoting. Yeah. Like pivoting, pivoting again, and like trying to figure out adapting, pivoting. It's all survive. adapting. That's it, man. Like you have to be flexible, right? But the thing is, I hate stretching. You understand? <sighs> That's so, a bar right there, man. Yeah, you, wow. it's, it's just a toss up. Yeah, man. You know? I love stretching. <laughs> I really do love stretching. Yeah. You stretcher? Um, you know, I rarely stretch, but I do like doing it. Oh yeah, man. Neil should great, have man. a stretching podcast. To. You ever have him show you some stretches? <laughs> what? Yeah, just stretching pot, it's just an audio. I mean, I've done thing. yoga and stuff. I've done like hot yoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Well, hot yoga is crazy, bro. Yeah, hot yeah. yoga is like intense mind fuck. Have you done hot yoga before? No, no, no. I just you you out. should do my hot yoga. Really? You need I'm to. I'm honestly surprised I had the the strength to do it. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, the, the thing with me is like ever since Bikram got out the game, right. I'm like I don't think I don't want to do that. I don't oh, want to yeah. do it with Bikram. You only with Bikram. I only want to do it. Well, I'll do it with the other people, naked, yeah. the other women. You understand? But if I, right. could, you know, if I could get in, the, we were supposed to go to that session in Spain. Remember? That wasn't. Gonna <laughs> Spain. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. We, 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 I think we spoke about it on yoga? this podcast a few we, times. We had the. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was were, actually looking for tickets to go to a Bikram session, and he's only doing it in Spain. He's still doing stuff. That he's guy still now. dude. COVID doesn't apply. Isn't it Bikram. well known that that guy's like a <laughs> super predator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, In he's Europe, still, man. Yeah. Ooh. He's still, Europe, yeah. Uh, he's still, yeah. South yeah. America, they don't, they don't, they're, they're loving him. So out that's there. where to go. Yeah. You, so uh, he still has one studio. The yoga's really good, I guess. It must be In so. LA. Yeah. And it's in Pasadena. Oh, yeah. But he's not affiliated. It's like, he's not affiliated with it anymore, but it is. That's what, that's the, what she Originally said. his studio. That's what she said. Yeah, man. So that's right. you want to go because you're yeah you're in Pasadena. Yeah, 
All right, man. But so we're going. We're going. I guess we can go, but it's probably not open right now. Uh, you know, you know, he don't care. Come on, dog. Michael, you in? Alan, are we? Okay. Are we going? Are we hitting a big room? Going to Spain or Pasadena? <laughs> <laughs> what other choices? Pasadena <laughs> in Spain. <laughs> no, I also want like the the sexual harassment part of the experience. What? Oh, yeah, I want the whole package. What? I might not. I, I may. I uh. may pass out on this. I may. <laughs> I may tap out on this one too. Really? <laughs> really? I didn't know that's what you were trying to get out of. Yeah. No, I just, I just, want, I just, I just want him to pull me aside after the session and be like, "Hey, why don't you come by later?" Uh, why don't you come by? And I would be Wait. like, oh. <laughs> "Give me a shoulder rub." Yeah. Oh my you know, I, I would, I would swing by and do it. <laughs> my favorite quote oh my of his God. was that one drop of his semen was worth a million dollars. You remember that? Yo, yes, he said that he about said that. women. He was like, these women would be so proud to have sex with me. <laughs> One drop of my semen is a million dollars. I think he said, I, meant to, I think he meant to say a million kids. The, the, <laughs> that's a very low count. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's actually, it's actually yeah. really low. It got too high. Yeah, the, yeah it's, <laughs> his balls stopped producing testosterone because of the heat. <laughs> you know, this is, this is a great transition here. One of my favorite pastimes is watching Indians just get away. With mm. scheming white people, I just, I just love to see it. They're so good, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you know, it's we just love a good scheme. Oh, love I a scheme, love a good man. scheme. Love, love a con. A good, yes, we love cons. Yes, <laughs> and that's not the name of the Indian guy that we're about to talk about. No, 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 not at all. So, uh, last week we talked about uh, getting into the segment, you know, of these Indian bad boy billionaires. It's a documentary on Netflix. Docu series on Netflix. Now, Docu-series. now, before we like, you know, we. We all have varying degrees here of watching the documentary, so we really we're, we're just gonna. This isn't gonna be a thorough or factual uh, <laughs> like review. I saw four minutes, <laughs> yeah, like, like eight right. minutes ago. I watched four yeah. minutes. Ago. <laughs> so if you're looking for a thorough review of the documentary <laughs> on Netflix, please leave this show now. Watch the documentary. Yeah, actually, actually that's a yeah. really good retelling of it. Yeah, I, I think I think Neil is admitting that he didn't watch it. <laughs> I think uh, I watched it. I I watched it. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to talk about it. Yeah. But which which one are we going to talk about today? We want to do one at a time, correct? Yeah. We just you know just want to touch on one at a time. So when we started watching today mm-hmm. was uh the pyramid scheme, the the Sahara business yeah. businessman um whose name of course I'm forgetting. Do you have the name? We're talking about VJ, right? Huh? VJ? VJ. Maybe it's VJ? Was it VJ? Is it VJ? I VJ? don't think it was VJ. I think I remember Roy in there, wasn't there? Something Roy. Roy. Sat. Sat. Sarat. Sarata. Sarat. <laughs> Sarata. I think Look at it. You got it. It's like, I see his picture right here. <laughs> you just got to scroll down a oh, little Oh, yeah. Bit. yeah. Like, if you just scroll down. It's Roy. I think Roy is his last name. You're right, Alan. Um, but yeah, either way, so he's, he's, he started this pyramid scheme, mm-hmm. which was essentially taking a hundred rupees a month from people and he targeted like lower class folks. Right. And the f- promise was that you would get three times your money back in a year. Mm-hmm. It's a good deal if I've ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, if you're down, I mean, sol- if you got a hundred rupees to spare, but... His name is Sabrata no, Roy. What does 100 rupees translate to? Uh, Subrata. Subrata? Yeah. Subrat, Subrata. The American dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 what? rupees is like, I don't want to say, as maybe like a nickel, a dime. A n- oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, what, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. a pro? <laughs> oh, that. Wow. I get 15 cents back. Crows, like crows, a, a 10,000. Okay, that's, well, that's, yeah, that's a very small investment. Okay. Oh, okay. But that's 10, how yeah, how I big so. do you think of a percentage of these people's daily wage was 100 rubies? Like we're talking Trivia. people people were like already struggling to yeah. live. It seemed like from this documentary like he targeted the the one yeah. You know, mm. one group of ladies they were living like in the city. Read. They was couldn't read. Thing. That was a was big thing. Contracts, yo. So that was yeah. kind of a big thing. Yeah. Yo, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. He was balling too, wasn't he? And it was all documented. And it was yeah. all legit. And that was the thing. It was all legit for a while. Mm-hmm. But then he started saying that it was worth more than it was to get loans from the banks. And then the banks right. defaulted yeah. loans. The government was like, well, we got to bail out this bank. <laughs> which oh. which was the crime that he committed. It was the fraud. Right. Um. But dude, he got thirty million people, which for India isn't a lot of people. But <laughs> it's like a small wedding. <laughs> yeah. That's a bus stop. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thirty. 
yeah, yeah, that's that, that's that's a uh, chump change for right. sure. But thirty million people to to buy into this scheme, so it was worth like three point six billion dollars, oh which I don't know how many thousand rupees is. Um, three point six billion dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, and how he was. Did and he do it for? Was he was he prolific or was he uh, mm. like? How long was his reign? Well, I think for the first four minutes, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. looks, he, I think I remember he, he was, was on. Pretty good at the yeah, first yeah. four minutes. Yeah, he was and on. Was Didn't he start in the eighties or something? <laughs> it was the eighty. Yeah, that's when it started. Right. And then up until he got caught, good run. <laughs> well, that's the thing because the, the reason I'm fascinated with these documentaries is like I like. Uh, I don't know, man. I just like seeing the reckless spending. You know, that's my favorite. Oh, part. yo! You like like the Wolf of Wall Street? I thing? love. Yeah, you like that part of it? Dude, I know what you mean. You know, it's you know these guys are breaking the stereotype of like you know stingy like Indians. It's like dude, these guys aren't. It's know? very Western, right. like decadent way to live. Right. You got the models. You got like the events with right. people, waiters giving you finger food and yes, fucking. Uh, Shania, like Shania Twain is singing, Enrique is singing yeah. at your right. shit. Right. One of these guys and you're in like India, bro. Ritchie, bro. These guys wanted to put on India, like it right. was like we can hang with the the Donald Trumps of the world, like yeah. the Warren, yeah. not the Warren Buffett, because he wasn't but a party. You kind of need that. You do, right? Yeah. yeah. That kind of every the the crooks are everywhere. That's it. And if you don't have any crooks to like. I don't know. Yeah. Hang out with our crooks and their crooks. <laughs> you're out of the crook party, and that's <laughs> you want to at least be in the crook party. Well, one of them, one of them said like the most baller thing ever. Like there was like a reporter interviewing them, and they were just like, "Hey, um, you know, we see how you live your life. We compare you to Donald Trump. Do you know who Donald Trump is?" Yeah. And he was just like, "I read about him." He's like, "But I don't have the bankruptcies." And yeah. It was just like, yeah. um, just the most baller. I love that. Yo, I remember that. Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it was just like, wow. Wow. <laughs> um, yo, but yo, I think great. foreign wealth is like a lot more than American. Like, like their definition of wealth is like so much more than American. Like, like here, they're five more wealthy. million, 10 million, you're rich. Mm-hmm. But like, that's like, that's not yeah. rich. 10 million. I know nothing. Really? <laughs> oh, so real quick, mm-hmm. a crow, one crow of rupees mm-hmm. is 10 million rupees. Wait, oh, a crow? crow is one crow. 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 Oh. Yeah. C R O W E. No, 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 not crow like the animal. <laughs> it's not it's not a crow. It's a C R O R E. O C R O R E. Yeah. Okay. Crow. Okay. Uh it's a hundred I'm sorry, it's ten million rupees. 10 I million said it was rupees. ten thousand earlier. Okay, okay. And I don't want you know, I don't want I don't want the <laughs> <laughs> the media to come after <laughs> us, dude. Okay, we didn't want to get the measurements wrong, but yeah, I think those guys. I, I, that's what I don't like, man. Like, you, we, we can't have billionaires be like Western billionaires. We gotta make our own type of billionaire. You know what I'm but saying? I mean, that's the goal. You all want, billionaires want to do same. it like Birdman, dog. Do they all? What? Birdman's not a billionaire, dude. <laughs> no, I mean, you know the lifestyle. The lifestyle. The yeah. lifestyle, like Diddy. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I, the idea that you can do whatever you want. Right. Putting that out as an image. That's your, right. pers- whether you can or not, that's the, like, yeah. a, almost like Mike Tyson. Right. Does with just being, I mean, no one can talk to Mike Tyson. No. It's true. It's like almost, yeah, if you're rich yeah. enough, you get, you get to be as strong as Mike Tyson almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you walk into a room, you have like, right. fucking, I guess right. you're the boss. Yo, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. That is <laughs> wild. Sometimes you get a fuck. Right. Stomp some people to get there. Well, <laughs> do you do you watch do you watch his podcast that Mike Tyson podcast? Mike I I've seen clips I watch of it. Podcast he's on. Okay, uh. it's 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 worth a watch because there's always a moment where like the guest gets scared, like yeah. <laughs> like, like they're ten minutes in and like like because because it's like it's like a really intimate podcast. Like he makes eye contact with him, yeah. and like there's like a scene where like he was calling out Lil Boosie for like making. I fun saw of that him. one. That's the one I Dwayne saw. Yeah. Son. And you just watch, Lil, <laughs> you watch Boosie just break. This guy's like a convicted murderer. Like, and right. you just watch him break down under my. I'm so sorry, dog. I didn't mean to wow. do it. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, Dude. so Lil Boosie said what about Dwayne Wade's son? He was saying yeah. the, like some trans. Oh stuff. shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Mike Tyson was like, son. "You can't say shit." Like he that called him gay to his face. <laughs> he said that too. Wait, He's like, you can't be he, transphobic. No. <laughs> you gay <laughs> piece of wow. shit. Really gay for that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Mike, so you're almost there. 
<laughs> well, oh my god, man, we want to preserve everybody's rights. <laughs> uh, you have to watch it, man. It's just, all, all, I mean, all of his episodes are like that, but they all break down. Like you realize you're in the presence of like someone, like yeah, dude. You know, like oh man, this dude, I'm, he's I'm been a, through so much more than the average human being will ever go oh, through. Yeah. Right. He's a true warrior, An experienced. Right. Yeah, dude. but I battle. Can't, I can't. None of us can incite that kind of fear in anybody. Nope. I just I haven't been through it. Not even you know, not even babies, man. I, I babies like will disrespect me openly. It's like <laughs> babies, not, yeah, man. You know, <laughs> you have to look at you in, in a way. It's like you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. it's like you, you, you ain't you shit your pants. <laughs> I, I don't fuck with babies. Like, I, I when, would when love. When was the last time you guys held a baby, though? When was the last time you guys held a baby? Uh, a few oh, months baby. ago. Really? A few months? That's quarantine. My baby? cousin had a baby. Oh my gosh! Oh, congrats! Congrats, yes, man! Gotta meet my cousin's baby. Right. So you're an uncle then, huh? Uh, yeah. I did. Uh, I unfortunately get a COVID, and it has. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Kidding. Ava's doing great. I shouldn't have said her name. Sorry about that. John. A baby shower. Right. <laughs> No, a baby, baby funeral. Yeah. <laughs> then when was the last time you held a baby, dog? <laughs> I just love that question, man. <laughs> When's the last time you held a baby, dog? Yeah. Um, would have been over a year ago. Wow. Yeah. For only baby I've held. My also. answer before that would have been never, though. That was <laughs> really? That was, oh, first dude, my first baby. First baby? I mean, since I was like baby? a uh, oh, man. maybe like a kid, kid. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, it is. I didn't feel any sort yeah. of paternal thing or anything. I was like, this oh. is just wild as a lie. I felt nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but I was also like related to the baby in a way. Oh, uh, that's, like, oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I was just, yeah, I was just holding somebody else's baby. Yeah, <laughs> someone else's baby. I could, yeah. Yeah. You know. Also, people don't like it when you just take their baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was wondering where all the babies are in LA. Mm. I don't see a lot of babies. <laughs> You're here. always wondering that. They're like, yo, where are the babies <laughs> are the in babies? LA? I see no. <laughs> I see no babies in We're LA. We're trying to have babies in this town, you know? We're trying to make it. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time. Trying to get an though. Emmy, not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> babies just get in the way. Babies right. just get in the way. All right, man. And then if you don't get the Emmy, you name your baby Emmy. Damn. <laughs> and then it's like sad. And Oscar. <laughs> and Oscar. <laughs> and and <Oscar>. Tony. <laughs> Holy shit, they all oh work. My God. <laughs> other ones are. Grammy right. is, that one kind of does. a bit. It's a little yeah. weird to name your baby Grammy. Sag the fourth one, EGOT? EGOT. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's tight. That's some new age yeah. shit. Yeah, Pulitzer after. Prize. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Twain. <laughs> Mark Twain Crit- Award. Critics Choice Award. <laughs> <laughs> the baby. Oh, man. Alan, you held a baby? Nine years. Oh, wow. wow. In years? You said it like a war veteran. Right? <laughs> I'm years. glad you put that down, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alan's like, get that weak shit out of here. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Now, now you just hold teens. Now you just hold <laughs> just older people. You're still holding people. Yeah. yeah. That's for sure, man. Um, wow. Yeah, man. You held a baby? Dude, hug babies all the time. That seems like your all MO, right. man. Yeah. Are you amongst babies? Yeah, dude I, dude. I love babies, man. Why are you amongst mm-hmm. so many babies? <laughs> so I don't know. Like, I still keep in touch and stuff like that. You know, cause, you know with my church group. <laughs> you and keep stuff. in touch with babies? Oh. Yeah, my church group. <laughs> <laughs> Baby network? Right. <laughs> you got my Splitwise app with me and seven babies. Yeah. This is a phone number. You'll know what to do with it. Right. <laughs> I have like a play school phone. Yeah. Like, right. Fisher Price. Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> you up? I'll put you Come down. On. Yeah, you <laughs> up. Do you guys want a baby? Oh, man. Sorry. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right. Jesus. Oh, shit, I don't man. need to go buck wild yeah. on this bitch. Dude. We're, we're kind of straddling the fence. Longfell's going, going berserk, man. Yeah. Sorry, bro. No, it's cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm chill. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, not, I, I'm indifferent. Yeah. Good wow. Different. What? I'm indifferent. That's a weird position. I feel. Like. Yeah. I, so I'm you could indif- just give or take. Yeah. You're gonna let the the woman decide. Leave that up to her. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. Because I'm not using condoms. So. Wow. <laughs> that's dope. Actually, I like yeah. that. Yeah. That's probably the best way to be. It is. That's gonna yeah. be a clip. I I uh I think I would I would like to, but I don't have any plan to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm nowhere near any sort of plan to. Well, it, it's there's kind of it's kind of done like this thing where like especially every ch- every chick like I've been with it when I do that when I do that thing where it's just like hey that's all on you yeah. they're automatically like I don't I don't think I want kids with this guy and they just wow. take care of all of it oh. so it's okay. like you so know maybe I don't a, open with that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> first date put it on my hinge like maybe a third date thing yeah put <laughs> it on your hinge 
Up to you. So I don't, um, yeah, that's why I just stay indifferent, you know. Yeah. You want a baby? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Oh, maybe someday. Have a little guy. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. like, hey, fucking <laughs> go pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> like Michael would come over and I'd just come ah, up. Ah, <laughs> good job. Ah, oh, bad job. What? <laughs> Being a dad. <laughs> 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 just kind of come in and out. I yeah. definitely yeah. know that uh, not for a long time though. I want to be uh, an old father. Yeah. Right. Oh, an old father. Yeah. Be one of those. How old? Okay. Like, I'm like not so old that it's just just old enough to where like parents at PTA meetings can't comment on it. Uh, okay. Okay. Like it's not so oh, okay. incredibly noticeably old. Right. Right. Maybe I'm like. Would you? Because I think I could be spitting out. I mean, I trust my potency. I trust my, you know. Mm-hmm. That's facts, man. That's yeah. facts. You know, I, 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 I can only hope that it'll last, but I have no reason to believe that it won't. Yeah. Deep well, into my right. Experience. Are Are you going to be okay with your your kid seeing you without a beard? Like, is is that what it is? Like the baby face? You think he's going to see you and be like, okay? I do have a fear that my kid will think I'm like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that I like have like this. Let's jock get fucking down to the real root like, of the God, problem. Here. It's broke as fuck, dude. He keeps reading Brene Brown. <laughs> like, imagine being a dad and telling your kid. To do something and the kid's just like, no, no. fuck you. That is terrifying. That's a yeah. terrifying thought. <laughs> he can look you in the eye at the age of 14. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. And, yeah. Starts calling you Michael. Yeah. That's like a thing every dad goes through, though. Like every son eventually is like, you know, rebels, but that's so fucking terrifying. That'd be oh. wild, man. No. See your creation just <laughs> not follow you. That's Frankenstein. <laughs> that's how Frankenstein happens. Right. Yeah, what was Michael? Uh, what was. Uh, Tyson's dad, like, wow, Probably great dude. I think his dad was a pigeon. <laughs> That'd be that's so Maybe such a, a weird to joke. Immediately <laughs> assume he wasn't a great dude, like I did, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything on. I think he trained him, yeah. or yeah. I actually I don't know. I actually don't want to speak on it at all. I have no idea. Maybe he didn't know him. Well, we we got to look at the end results here. You know, their fathers created millionaires. Yeah, I guess what do you call day. a good parent? You know, right? Yeah. Uh, Mike Tyson's dad, Joe Jackson. Is it impact father. over Joe intent? Jackson. <laughs> Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson, the greatest the fathers of all of time. Icons. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> right. man. Right. That's fucking true. Right. Yes, but it's also true that uh, but many people that do do notice, like you know, kind of that are extremely. Mm. That have the strength like that, <laughs> yeah. right? Perhaps have not come from a. That's the thing. Mm, Those people are anomalies. Very cushy dad yeah. background. I don't know. Yeah. So you think you, for like? So you think for like every Michael Jackson that was created, there's like at least like for every great thousand. artist, there's got to be like yeah, fucking some. <laughs> and I feel like parents are a pretty consistent one. Yeah, dude. That you see amongst extraordinary people. Yeah. They had weird parents. Adversity. Yeah. In some sorts. But you know what? Life is suffering, man. That's true. Yeah. So maybe, maybe, I, I, the question is, does it take that type of parenting to make a a Mike Tyson or could, could that, could a Mike Tyson come from like, (laughs) could a Mike Tyson come from like a sport? Come from my background. Like, (laughs) uh, you know, my parents both love me. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Encourage me. Would I like want to fucking, you know, could I? I didn't. What well, would you rage against? I guess. That's, yeah, I guess maybe you need a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> no. But maybe that's not know. Mike's chip. Maybe he's got a million other chips. Maybe his chips, dad was right? dope as fuck. I think his Mike dad, Tyson's dad was just a his, spiked bat. His dad was a spiked bat? Just a spiked bat. <laughs> what do you mean? And he just, just raised a, you know, just impenetrable monster. I imagine I he it. was a tough, a tough guy, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the, okay, Absolutely. so his biological father was never in the picture. Ah. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Daddy issue. Oh, no, let's just, stop. Yeah, let's just edit out the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All our story. theories. He was a great guy. <laughs> Tyson's day was great. This is the type, uh, you know, this is the type of integrity and journalism uh, <laughs> intent that we like yeah. to approach in this podcast. Speculate. Get all, get it all out there. <laughs> Let the whole world formulate an opinion. And then be like, oh, it's <laughs> we'll stay. It's a setup. <laughs> we'll look up the facts after. <laughs> all of it. Oh man, uh, it's not news, you know. It is not news. Yeah. Did we? Do we feel we barely talked about the bad, bad near Billy? No. Bad boy billionaire thing, we'll but get back to it. Right. I think we could. I mean, I kind of wanted to talk about the drug, the p- drug thing in Portland, Ooh, in Oregon. That is yes. a one. Yes, yes, yes. Are yes, you, you guys want to go? Yes, 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 you guys want to go to Oregon <laughs> and just like do some mushrooms? Because our therapist 
prescribe I mean, but can you still like, it's not like they're selling drugs. I don't know. I don't they're know. Sell, they're going to sell them. Yeah. They're going to sell, they're going to sell mushrooms. You can buy mushrooms like you can buy weed. Yeah. Really? It's going to happen. For medical use. Right? For yeah, for medicinal yeah. use, right? Medicinal use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> medicinal use. What is the probably like PTSD and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. probably not like yo, man, fucking trip dope out of your. Fuck, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's awesome. It's microdosing, probably. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, it is dope. Yeah, it's it dope. makes sense though. Yeah. I met a lot of great people from like Oregon. You know, it's, I don't know. Every person I met from Oregon was like cool. My sister went to college in Oregon. There right. You go. We love Oregon. Right. The <laughs> Nike the Nike factory. Longfellows love Oregon. There we go, man. Nike, Nike. factory. Right. The yeah. Simpsons, apparently Mine. based in Oregon. Right. Portland's adorable. I love Portland. Portland's right. cool. Oregon State. Oregon State. <laughs> Let's go Beavers. Right. Antifa. <laughs> Antifa. <laughs> They've Let's been go. killing it this year. <laughs> right. Portland's been chaos. Right, right. <laughs> Interesting thing about Oregon. Yes, uh, they mix. First, <laughs> first, uh, First state, uh, the KKK got organized and after they left the South. Oh. First state. A lot of great people in Oregon, guys. Dude, could you imagine if the KKK could have gotten that Nike sponsorship <laughs> early <laughs> on? Just a swoosh on all their hoods. <laughs> Just. We don't need the KKK that fast. <laughs> <laughs> They're fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> they get old converse. That <laughs> Bill Walton played in. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, Bill Walton ad. They sound like hoods, you know, like these hoods make you faster. <laughs> you see, you They're get, breathable. They're breathable. Made out of fiber mesh. Uh, it's all dry fit. Right. <laughs> it's all right. The Grand Wizard is like, this feels great. <laughs> this feels like, great. <laughs> real flexible guy. Makes it easier to persecute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> can't see my sweat stains, man. <laughs> That's so hilarious, bro. How do you, how, so how how do you think something like this would kind of overall? Because I, I guess the goal is to decriminalize it. We want the right kind of people in prison. We don't want, you know, the mushroom people. The uh, you know they're harmless, right? You know, mm. we want the right kind of people in prison. That's right. Which I think is like the good, you know. Mm. I think that's the good way to approach it. I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we want to put the right people in jail. Right, we want the right people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I guess this this will get a lot of people out of jail, hopefully, right? No, I think they're gonna stay in there. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> like, well, yeah. well, let's yeah. Yeah. We're pretty progressive already. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're we're time to think about that. Right. Right. We said we're out of to jail. Do. Yeah, we got mushroom leg too. <laughs> How do you think we're gonna pay for these mushrooms? We're gonna, <laughs> gonna keep you guys in here. <laughs> every, every, Sick, though. It's always like it's, they always do this, like with Kamala. Like they always bring up all the people, like like she locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was just like, what about all those people you locked up? Are you gonna get them back out? And she's like, well, let's just hold on until after December. <laughs> she always just pushes off the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. She's like, I put in a lot of hard work into locking those guys up. And, uh, <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, that's no. They're probably gonna stay in there. They're probably gonna stay in. Yeah, they're gonna Sadly. they're gonna stay. You know. Yeah, man. Yeah, calm, calm as a cop. Yeah. We'll get cops are back, man. Cops yeah. are back. <laughs> cops are back. Cops man. making a comeback. <laughs> the boys in blue are <laughs> streaking down the field. Uh, yeah, so I honestly, if I were to sit here and look at it, I, the, the one cool thing about this is like when, when, a, when a state legalizes it, they build like an infrastructure around it. So it's like mm-hmm. now we'll create safe ways for people to do these drugs. Okay. Yeah. And then now all of a sudden. Canada's been doing that. Right. Haven't they? Right. Really? Detroit with the oh, needle yeah, program. Yeah, Detroit dude. with the needle program. Canada's really Canada maybe this is like the needle program. Canada will will put people with heroin addiction in hospitals and then give them small amounts of heroin mm-hmm. uh in order to like curb their their addiction. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I think I think they do that everywhere. Even here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> they use they use that's like a, they, you know, they use. Well, I'm glad that's the standard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Canada also just has places where you can, if you're addicted to heroin, can go do heroin and get heroin. Yeah. Oh. It's in a safe like in Manitoba. Dosage and oh. like environment. Yeah. You See, yeah, needles. right. The environment's key, right? You give heroin to people who are living in already in unstable environments, then it's a heroin problem. Yeah. If you do in Canada, <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's a Thursday. You right. Know, <laughs> right. Going out with the boys. <laughs> yeah. Honey, I'll be back. Uh, yeah. Going to do heroin with the boys. Uh, right. You know? Well, you know, I think that's also just them being polite. You know, they're <laughs> very just hospitable, polite people. Mm-hmm. You come here with a problem. Well, right. You know? Yeah. I like that. Think about that. You, you, you know, you got a vice and you walk in it and just someone just freely offers you a ton of your vice. <laughs> come on. Well. 
I don't think it's like, you know, I don't think they push heroin. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're like, At the you're in Canada, yeah. it's poutine and heroin. <laughs> you think they're making the kid but commercials right now? I think if you're right like, now? you know, give me heroin, <laughs> they're like, all right, here is a safe amount of heroin. <laughs> In a place. So, <laughs> like, so, so if I walk, it's not like a tourist hotspot. <laughs> like an app. You've got to take a trip. <laughs> <laughs> a trip. You going to Vancouver? Mm. <laughs> Thai food, heroin. <laughs> trip trip advisor. advisor. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we give this place four and a half needles. But so. I bet, who knows? I bet you probably could just go. I don't know. Maybe you could with a little acting. Right. Go get that heroin. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I bet. Or maybe you just can go do heroin. I mean, wouldn't it be better than uh, street quality heroin? It's gotta be for sure. Yeah, dude. It'd be, yeah, it'd be synthetic. Safer. Yeah, man. I heard government stuff is stronger though. <laughs> Damn. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> really? You heard? Yeah. Is that good for that? Yeah, I heard government stuff is stronger though. Interesting. Get more addicted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's interesting. I heard they got that straight. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would expect. I would hope Pure. the power of the government could go behind making everything better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's true. <laughs> I hope are yeah. I hope they can do that, dude. What so? What's this infrastructure thing you're talking about? They're building infrastructure around. Yeah, so it's like drugs? Y- yeah, you legalize it, and like the infrastructure is just doing about doing it safely. You know, hey, you don't have to do this on the street no more. Mm. Come inside. We got soup. You just, <laughs> just you know, it's wow. it's like it's like the warmer side yeah. of it. Heroin oh soap. man, yeah, you can do VR. Right. After you do heroin, <laughs> little VR arcade. You know, right? It's hospitable. Wow, that sounds trippy. <laughs> fully you want to do virtual reality on heroin wouldn't that be crazy isn't heroin enough <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh dude not I for the gamers man like, dude wow fine, really. virtual reality <laughs> <laughs> they're already trying to skip reality one way that should be a virtual right. reality yeah. game right, right. Yeah. you're on where you get right. to do heroin there you go that's actually it's a like great those idea. drunk goggles you know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wean yourself off <laughs> it's a whole story too like you have to talk to your mom about it like have withdrawal and you really like lifted you the get an intervention on level yeah. three yeah. 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 you yeah. passed you passed the intervention <laughs> you still still are getting heroin from your dealer relax, <laughs> relax. Level six. Level six. you have to steal money from your parents it's like a little side quest yeah. right <laughs> disappoint right. them you know but it, it just makes me think about like 20 or 30 years from now like huh you know i do think that eventually it seems to me like in a utopia, hmm. uh, there wouldn't be any illegal drugs. Right. Well. And that almost all, that, that we could look at the legalization of all drugs like we do as alcohol prohibition now. It's like, oh, that was a right. thing they used mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. 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 that just right. wasn't the right move. Yeah. yeah I, I think, think if they dose it. Aside. If they dose it, then it's cool. But if they're just like, here, everybody just take right fucking as many drugs as you want yeah i don't know if the human being is there yet to right. like have that sort of free will but right. i don't think it's another human beings because that's the thing with legalizing say that either right yo it's yeah. a, it, so it means it means a ton of government intervention yeah they have to create tax laws and trade laws and industry liabilities all this stuff they have to right. make all these rules and regulations and then it's like government oversight mm-hmm there's no solution. No. And if the cartels <laughs> unionize, forget about it. <laughs> oh, dude. You got to you right. pay them now. Does that legitimize the cartels? Because now they can it, right. uh, apply for like a, a business <laughs> right. loan. Yeah, now they're, they're gentlemen. <laughs> dude, I, 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 be a good thing. I, I watch a lot of the, the, the drug trafficking documentaries. I, I can watch them a lot. And um, I understand why they're so expensive. It's a, it's a lot of hardworking people that go into getting you, you know, your heroin. It's true. You know, a lot of people risk their lives. It's true, man. Um, and it's like, yeah. these are all like great paying jobs, too. Right. You know, like, so it's kind of like, even the trafficker, like, who gets it from, like, you know, Jalisco and has to take it to yeah. Tijuana. Dude, just to imagine that anxiety. Oh my god! I could never. <laughs> just Dude. the nerves alone. You're sitting right. on a greyhound. <laughs> sitting on a greyhound. Just hand. shaking. <laughs> just like uh, oh yeah, seventeen hand. more hours. <laughs> Three police stops. <laughs> yeah. Going through fucking checkpoints and stuff. I go through the checkpoint into California, which I've never from Arizona to California. There's a little mm-hmm. checkpoint you uh-huh. go through, and all they do is had they've ever done is just wave. They, oh, they just, but it's like this whole thing, and there's yeah. a stop. You're supposed to stop. Yeah. And I mean, I don't have anything in my car, and I still am just like, oh my god, yeah. oh my god, <laughs> they're gonna get me for something. <laughs> there's, uh, there's, yeah, there's such relief every time I get through it with nothing in my car at all. Right. Oh, man. 
It yeah. depends. You just have a bunch of guns in your <laughs> yeah. backseat, though. <laughs> yeah. You're I, very creative ways. I, I, I once went through this checkpoint that you're talking about. It was me and my other one Indian friend and my one Jewish friend. Mm-hmm. And my Jewish friend was driving. We were all pretty fucking... We had hot box the entire way. Because we were going from Texas to LA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just hot box the entire way. Car smelled like shit. Pulled up. And it was crazy. It's just like... Like, to just see... Like just him being well spoken for, yeah, and you know, a, a, a calm white, you know, <laughs> like it just worked. Calm the white. Co- cop could obviously smell it, but he was I like, "It's like fine, this. go ahead." Yeah. <laughs> Neil, for you're a calm white, right here. Oh, <laughs> calm white, dude. I wouldn't. I may I? I, don't, I wouldn't claim the calm white role. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fucking nervous, as, uh, even if I shouldn't. Be. You start throwing nugs at the cop. <laughs> right. Sorry, I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the back right seat. Uh, <laughs> he just knocks on the window. <laughs> it's the back right seat. He's like, this is a cell phone. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, no, by the it's way, a is, uh, is opium still killing in India, dog? I don't know why you. <laughs> you think I like? <laughs> I have like that. <laughs> like your you go-to there guy. yesterday, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how's it on the streets, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. How, how's it? How was um? Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm not plugged into this at all. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, as opium? I don't know. India was like historically known. For, I think like, uh, I we're the ones with the uh, we got the opium the problem now. Opium problem. Yeah. problem. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> that's what it's called in India. Is opium? Yeah. <laughs> India joke. <laughs> yeah, sure. India first. <laughs> Move by an eye. <laughs> Modi. Modi. <laughs> Donald Modi. Trump. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Modi and Donald Trump. <laughs> this is where the accent gets dangerous. <laughs> it gets dangerous, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> India for Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh. I see. Oh, this is what <laughs> he does. <laughs> Dude, so okay, so this is okay. Oh, India was like historically like they introduced opium to the world. I just want to say I'm so proud of Michael for not jumping in on that. <laughs> right, just, right. Just, oh, you know, sometimes you're just happy to be on the way. <laughs> right. I like Michael. He doesn't just get it. He it just, yeah, he just you know <laughs> just, just riding the wave. He man. just watches it from the shore. He's great. <laughs> so, so they introduced it, and they were the first one to introduce it to like British people, like Europeans, like, and they got hooked on it. Opium. Yeah. They would fly out to India just to do opium. And they build like these huge opium houses with like whores in it. And white people would just. Isn't that like the Beatles? <laughs> Didn't I think they, they were do there. that. I think Isn't that Abbey Road? Yeah. Isn't that the album? Yeah, yeah. There's a <laughs> there's a picture of Gringo and uh, <laughs> just just shooting it up. But yeah, very it's old a, school stuff. Too. Lucy and smoke opium, it. right? It's a yeah, it's, it's a smoke. I think it's, it's a smoker. Smoke, yeah. smoke, yeah. It's a smoker. Is this a, yeah? It's like a rock, right? Is it? Yeah. I don't and know. what it's like, uh, you know, what it's like a really good weed. <laughs> it's it's crazy, loud. <laughs> crazy loud. Crazy <laughs> loud weed, yeah. right? Yeah, because people were hooked on it, and it's a plant. Mm-hmm. I think it, like it grows naturally from the earth. Yeah, that should like be the uh, <laughs> like the whole weeds a plant argument. Maybe that's not a great argument. <laughs> <laughs> Opium's a plant <laughs> right. too. Overall, yeah, we need a better right. argument. Overall. Yeah. Overall. Chill. I think just chill. Chill. Like Chill's a good argument. argument. Just <laughs> chill. It's over. You lost it. <laughs> the whole. It's going legal. It's all it's going so away. Legal. <laughs> Just chill. Just chill on it. <laughs> Just chill on it. <laughs> With the exception of weed, though, drugs are like really, really boring before they're actually made. Like even what like. So like cocaine, like even the coca leaves, like from co- like they just look oh, like cocaine's a plant too. That's what? a terrible argument. Yeah. Yeah. So I those leaves, everything. like they they look like that. Like you wouldn't know from like eyes. Like they're just very boring looking. Mm. Like you could grow a cocaine plant in like your yard and nobody would know. Just wow. a little plant. You could just have one in your office. Mm. Nobody would know. Did you ever? Well, did you ever see how they made it from like plant to eventually like the. The cocaine that we know it, the powder stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm always like, how the hell did they figure that out? It's like right. a ten step process. Yeah. Yo, how do you fall yeah. into that? Yeah. It's a it's a I whole thing, know. but they always change it all the time. You mm-hmm. know? Did you guys see that Denzel Washington movie? Which one? The Frank Lucas one. I forgot. American American uh, gangster. American, American gangster. gangster. A long time ago. I saw, really? I saw that one. Mm. Yeah, you is saw that it. One? Yeah. Is that Good. the famous scene one? Uh, <laughs> the one with like, the blue magic. You think you can do this to me? 
Oh, you think of a training day? That's training day. Yeah. <laughs> you think of a training yeah. day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like that have, one. That one's that's the king. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good training one too. Good. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we. I love Denzel. Yeah, Denzel but always makes sure he has his training day moment in every. That's movie. it, man. Yeah. That's the moment where he just Gets shows big. you he's the man. It's like right. the snakes on a plane moment with Samuel Jackson. Oh, right. just like this is the movie we came to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, said it like a yes. snake. <laughs> so American <laughs> Gangster. Yeah. American gangster. They Frank they, Lucas was was his guy, and he talks about how he got heroin into the country overseas, one hundred percent pure. Damn, um, he was beating out the Italians, ooh. and he was like, "Yo, I don't. We can cut out the middle guy, and I can just make this myself." Okay. And so, yeah, there's that whole thing. American made. Was, American made. See, American made, baby. we want to bring business. That's what I'm saying. To America, bring jobs back. <laughs> Make America <laughs> great. <laughs> Modi. <laughs> Dude, by the way, Modi is in like a few of these documentaries too. It's not the same Modi. Who's Modi? It's a, diff- it's a different Modi's Modi. The Prime Minister of India. Oh, okay. It is yeah. the same Modi. It's not. It's not the same Modi. Are there different Modis? It's, it's a very. I think it's a pretty Multiple common Modis. name. Multiple Modis. In Gujarat, it's Modi. a very common name. <laughs> Modi. So it's kind of like a title. No, it's his last name. <laughs> 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 so how are there multiple Modi's? Mo- it's like Johnson. How are there multiple John? All the Johnsons aren't related to each other, but they all are Johnson. Well, the black you- ones are. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. So okay. So there's there's different Modi's. Too many Modi's. And this one was different. Too many modes. Yeah, different guy. Mm-hmm. Maybe you know. I guess we're all related in a in a in a soul kind of way. Wow. Yeah. But the Modi, this Modi is different from the Modi that is a uh, the Prime Minister of India, quasi nationalist, <laughs> quasi fascist, <laughs> quasi. <laughs> yeah, not a hundred percent great, but people, you know, that's that's the thing. Trump Trump appealed to our like our Modi does this too. They appeal to like people's lizard brains. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like you feel some sort of tribal way about that person. Right, right, right. And that's a crazy amount of influence over like Joe Biden. Who's like very calming and like everything's gonna be okay. We're all gonna work together. Mm-hmm. And you're like that's logical. Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. That's how I want to live my life. And Trump, you just yeah feel would you, something. Would man. you guys? It's like would, Prince, you know. Would you guys get into politics? Would you guys? Uh, never. Wait, never. did Modi have a <laughs> did Modi have a hat with the slogan on it? Did, did he have his own little slogan that was like like MAGA? Oh uh, no, you know how like great uh, make America great again? Was there like a Modi version? Oh, oh, oh dude. Yeah. No, it was a scarf. Well, a scarf. Yeah, a scarf. <laughs> yeah, it was a scarf. Fashion Make scarf. India great again? Yeah. <laughs> Mika? <laughs> Mika? It's not great. Yeah. To be honest, it's not great. Just across. Who knows, man? Mika I, doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, man. If no. I were to, uh, if I were to uh, get into politics, man. Yeah. I think, I think like, now it's, like, it's weird because you got the new president and, like, other countries are, like, kind of starting to, like, kiss up now again. Like, you yeah. know. So it's, like, Paris is, like, yo. You know, hey Biden, what's going on, man? Like everyone is like already kind of treating. They're already treating him like they're asking him for stuff already, yeah. and he's like, guys, I got until January. Wow. And they're just, but we want stuff now. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of like that. You know, Dude. you don't know what to do, man. But you guys jump in. You think a comedian would make a good president? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a movie about that with Robin Williams. Really? Um. I forget what it's called. My mom told me to watch it. <laughs> it's, it's not the it's not the best movie, uh, but you know, yeah, he gets uh, voted president. And he's a comedian. He's a comedian. He's like a late night talk show host, ah. like a David Letterman, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Dude, I mean, Robin Williams probably. Would, you know, it's a good. It might be a good look. I don't yeah. maybe necessarily trust their decision making. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> it was made right before Trump, I think. Mm. And then ah. now, when you watch it, you're kind of like, oh, he's kind of being Trump. Whoa. A little bit, like he's like yelling at the. Uh, he like takes over the debate. And I'd be like, I bet this was a cool scene. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy Before Johnson, a dude. month ago, <laughs> there was a lot of that too. There was a lot of TV that's just not good anymore. For sure, man. After yeah. All this. It's, it's weird. weird. Sure. And it, it feels like the quarantine's gotten long enough to where everyone was like, "Don't write COVID stuff." Right. right. You know, no one's gonna want to hear about it. And now I see a lot more. Sh- I see shows implementing covid stuff already and watching like covid yeah. material like yeah this is us is all now 
<laughs> the new season is uh, in COVID. Oh, and everyone's wow. dealing with COVID. Wow. And Dude, George Floyd. Wild. And yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I didn't know you watched This Is Us. Uh, my that's girlfriend watches This Is Us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. But we live okay. in one bedroom, so I watch This Is Us. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Longfellow admitted just on here, right here, Papai Not, not News, everybody. It's that a he sweet watches show. This it has a lot of heart. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard good things about This Is Us. I've never seen it, though. Right. Well, the head writer, she, she killed herself. Oh, what? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Jazz, Wa- Jazz Waters. I was sitting right there. Remember Jazz Waters? We were talking about her. Oh, she was an African American. Oh, she wrote like the first like two seasons, wow. first two three seasons I think of the, of the show. Oh shit, man! Which Damn. were like monumental. And then she she killed it. She was like a writer I loved dearly. Like, I, like she didn't know me of course, but right. I, I was a fa- you know I was a fan of just what she did. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jazz Waters. Wow. That so, sucks, man. Yeah, for sure. I didn't mean to bring this down, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's really sad, man. Um, no, but yeah. So I, first of all, I didn't know uh, you had that kind of empathy, Michael. Uh, well, to like, uh, oh, I do. Guild, this is why you guilt weighs on me. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a heavy weight. Wait, is it? Is it? Uh, where, where's the guilt coming from, man? Uh, you don't need it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know where it's coming from. I could probably figure it out in like therapy or something. Right. <laughs> right. You're not gonna do that though. You're I not gonna guess, go to therapy. Oh, man. Carry a guilt with me that is profound. Just Ooh. sit on that. Pass it down to your son. Yeah, I'll dump it off somewhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah just dump it out on him. And he's like, you can't dump this on me, Mike, okay? Like I'll my beat your fucking ass. My father gave it to ass. me, I'd give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Someday you'll give it to your son. I said you work all this out on stage. <laughs> right. Just like or your old man parks. did. Yeah. Right. Different parks. I'm giving you material. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Seems> like crying. <laughs> Ellen said, you need to get back on stage, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but maybe that's why that's why uh, you you would make yeah, a good politician. I'm politic. being dramatic, too. It's not that bad. Nah, dude. Yeah, I have no. empathy. Trauma's real. Ancestral trauma. You don't know what happened to your people the, back exactly, when. Exactly. Exactly. You know? You know? Are it's you uh, aware of your family history? Like, 100%? Yeah, what is your family background? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know much about it. I mean, what are you mixed oh. with? You look mixed. I'm Irish, oh. and I'm Welsh, mm. and I'm a little bit German. Word. I can tell. Dude, German, German. Everyone's always a little German. Every, yeah, everyone's They really a made their, I mean, it's not great, but they really. <laughs> you try to conquer the world They twice. really tried to do it. Oh. They were in there. You think we're a little bit German? Nah. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Everyone's German in the same way. People are like, everyone's related to Genghis Khan. You know? <laughs> 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 like a one in 400 chance or something like that? Yeah. There's always a no, no. Uh, uh, white people that are mixed. There's always a little bit of German. Yeah, there does yeah. seem to be. There's always a little bit of German in there. Yeah. My grandma yeah. says that the guy that wrote about Paul Revere's famous ride, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, that like the British are coming story, uh-huh. wow. he says that that guy was related to us. Wow. So pretty cool. Dude, that's, yeah. that's kind of shattering, you know? All right, that's, that's hard. A, that's that's a ne- big ass yeah, yeah, yeah. He was never able to top that, I that story. I huh? wouldn't, you know, my grandma's no liar. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. The British are coming. The British are coming. I mean, that's like one of the most famous bars. Yeah, maybe of all time. Is there a more famous right. bar? No. He didn't even write that. He didn't. He didn't write it. He wrote it down. Oh, he wrote it that, down. Yeah, it's not Paul Revere. He heard the guy say it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never but know. Maybe he, he edited sampled it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he sampled uh, it. It's a remix. He made the yeah. story famous, I suppose. Dude, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And I guess he was a poet. I guess he was a pretty notable poet. Oh. Like I, I saw him in college and stuff. His name was. Oh shit! Wow. Around, bro. Dude. Whoa. That's pretty I cool. I don't think he's related to me. But I think grandma, he might be, man. My grandmother would always say he was. That oh. makes sense, though. That makes sense why that's in your blood. Mm-hmm. Right? No, I don't think I... Do. You know why that's in there, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Come you on, You guys dog. think I got a little Wadsworth in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta See, embrace the oh Wadsworth, man. Yeah. You got the soul of a poet. Yeah. That's what it is, man. <laughs> that's what it is. We should all embrace that's our right. Wadsworth. My comedy's poetry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Now that you guys say it, I'm I'm very (laughs) poetry-like. Dude. (laughs) I remember remember one time, like, like there was was actually, like, a comic who actually did poetry on stage and, uh, like, this four-minute poem. It was it was just a long time to go without laughter. That's a lot of <laughs> time. And a comedy. It club? was a great poem, but the whole time I'm like, man, this is a long time. <laughs> People stop buying drinks. Like, <laughs> yeah. was, yeah. like I was <laughs> the burger got so. It's a long bad. time to feel intense, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Like three right. minutes tops of intensity, please. Right. <laughs> a movie would do that to you. They like right. it up a little man. bit. Yeah. It was just like one of those like racially aware poems. 
and it was like one of those woke pieces yeah. that he did in the comedy in, in the in the in crazy a comedy club too. Yeah. It and takes people balls. actually started to get woke like in the middle of the show. I don't, I don't Dude. Know. And then they brought the headliner up. I don't <laughs> know if you ever saw like I've had this experience that if a if a <laughs> poet goes up in like a comedy open mic, people think it's gonna be a comedy poem. So they start chuckling at stuff that's just straight. Like, yeah, like right. where something sh- a Traumatic. joke should be, and then you realize he's not. He's doing something <laughs> serious, and it's just dead. <laughs> right. The, yeah. That's what I've experienced. Yo. Yeah. You experienced that? Yeah. Or oh like my a, gosh. Someone's like, and then they'll give the charity chuckles. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The charity chuckles, chuckles to somebody. Oh, cadence. Yeah, the cadence of the, <laughs> this is where a joke should be. Right, right, right. He kind of said it like it might be a joke, <laughs> oh and then it's like, oh, it's not, and then it just keeps going, and then it dies, and then. All right, well, the next guy goes up and tries to do a dating joke. Or something. Right. I don't know if I'd like the it or not if someone did a woke-ass poem before I... <laughs> if you had to, had to go next, it would, it would be tough. <laughs> well, Maybe it'd be mean, good. Maybe it'd be good energy. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because of how it. you would use it. Yeah. If you're a black comedian following, it's going to be a great set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an amazing thing. They're going to love you. They're going to eat it up. Right. If you're white... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might feel... <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Michael Longfellow, everybody. <laughs> I got a dog. <laughs> He's not racist. <laughs> Yo, man. For the people listening at home, if you want to get into comedy, it's a lot of poetry. You're going to have to sit through. You've got to write poems. <laughs> First mics I went to in LA were poetry mics. Really? This is really, really can be hard <laughs> See, a now, lot do of comics dicks. behave better when someone does poetry at a mic like a comedy mic or do poetry people behave better towards comedians con- towards comedians Dude. i would think poetry people would be nicer you know that but you know what they're so raw and real they're very raw and real i think you'd have to be a good comedian you would just have to I be really good and i was just starting and was not and so but it's you guys can handle that now. That now that that wouldn't be a problem. It now would be can. way. My approach would be a thousand percent different. Right, right, yeah. right. No, I remember there was a there was actually a mix show that like back home in Tampa, like we used to have with like poets and comedians, and it went well. And then the lady like she stopped booking comedians because while the poets were on stage, comedians were always in the back talking. And it was just um, like it was just like a consistent. There you go. Yeah, there's your answer right there. Yeah, right. Dude, there's disrespect. Piece right. of trash, disrespectful, <laughs> punk ass comments. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Comedians are worse than gangs, bro. To be a right. Damn professional, <laughs> kind individual. Okay, Michael, punks. it was me. I was the one talking in the back. <laughs> I was the one talking in the back. <laughs> Districts <laughs> art. Oh my god! She's like we're trying to do. Right. Let the gangs do the open mic, yeah. man. Right. Like he's humiliated up there. It's embarrassing. <laughs> of course it is. He's <laughs> <laughs> po- reading poetry in front of people. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> you don't let him know. <laughs> oh my god! Man. Yes, yeah, so someone on stage just pouring their heart out about how their parents abused them through this poem. And then no punchline. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. Of course it's weird. Dude. Right. And come on. The, it's fucking dope. I'm and in the back of the room. The bravery to do it is just like fascinating. <laughs> Dude, the punchline is what his dad would say when he would hit him. <laughs> Here's your punchline. Huh? <laughs> Did I just halt it? No, it would be, it'd be like... Uh, Halted it? Yeah, no, yeah, that his dad would say, yeah, but it would just be punchline. Right. My dad would only say one word after he hit me. And this right. would be the end of the poem. It's been like 10 minutes. Right. right. Punchline. Yo! That's, smack, there we go. Smack the note. There we go. Smack the note. Make sure noise. Like a noisy closing <laughs> the note. And then he walks off. And there's no applause. And then three seconds. Dude, wow. That's the scene. It's oh. beautiful. And now it's time no. to bring up your headline. That's the scene in his head. <laughs> and then he'd just be like, punchline. <laughs> and then kind of like probably drop his notebook and <laughs> squeak away and some guy named Dave would just be like, all right. <laughs> yeah, for John, oh, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Somebody throws a full beer at him. Yeah. Right. right. There's a cough in the back. <laughs> so, some prop comic named Johnny Bananas follows that guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeff Dunham used to crush after Jeff poets. <laughs> Jeff Dunham was killing <laughs> after Dunham. these poets. He used to like to bring bring yeah. a poet with him on the road. Right. You know? As he's reading his, po- his poetry, the guy's setting up puppets. You <laughs> I'm glad you guys agree. Jeff Dunham is poetry. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to hate that. Like you'd be on stage, like you got like two minutes left, and like someone is already setting up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
the band going on after the next. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're like setting, like yeah, setting up their drums. True. He's tuning. For a moment, there's three people on stage. Right. <laughs> you got two minutes left. You're like, thank you. This is my closer, but keep going. Keep. This is my closer, guys, but keep going. That's fine. Yeah, the amps work. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Dude. Berries, best, man. They start playing their song a little bit too. Yeah, are you playing me <laughs> off right now? Yeah, I paid seven dollars right. <laughs> to do three minutes <laughs> in West Hollywood. This is horrible, dude. <laughs> it's just horrible, man. Shout out to poets. Shout out to, Shout out to poets. <laughs> Shout out to poets, man. We got much love. Uh, yeah. Much love. Yeah, we're, we're we're the same kind of struggling artists. This is a this is a podcast of love, and uh, neither of us should have much of an ego. <laughs> no, no, we have not. <laughs> we're the same, right? Yeah. Right, we're the same. Ridiculous Let's not take ourselves seriously, yeah. man. We're the same struggling, man. That's real, man. Um, well, look, fellas, that's that's the end of the episode. Really? It's the end of the episode. Close the notebook. <laughs> the notebook's closed. Punchline, bro. Um, thanks, Michael. Thanks Great. for being here, Before buddy. you go, though, appreciate you, man. Me. What's up? I do want to know if you guys want to take this vaccine, though. Yeah, dude. The You're vaccine? taking it. You taking the vaccine? I'm taking the vax. You're taking the vax. I'm gonna wait till Michael takes the vaccine. Yeah, let's see what happens see after how, Michael. What happens to Michael? Maybe not the first round, <laughs> but maybe the first round. Honestly, I don't yeah. know. We're gonna see. You there? I won't take the first one. <laughs> the first. <laughs> if it's. <laughs> 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 take like the third. You walk in the doctor's office. He's like, "Great, you're the first one." Like, yeah. Like, like, ah, patient <laughs> zero. <laughs> Jake, did you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who has to get out of here? Oh my gosh, was it? Is that something you would want the doctor to tell you? Like yeah. just as it's in your arm. Yes. Right. No, not as it's in my arm. If it's gotten to that point, you're an American hero. Me. Right. Then he hands you a Barnes and Noble gift card. Congratulations, <laughs> you're the first. You're the first. <laughs> Patient. He takes a picture. Right. My arm's already swollen. Like, oh, dude, you're like Neil Armstrong. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, dude. Maybe Neil that's Armstrong. the vaccine. Maybe it's like an almost like His a arm genius strong, deal. Yeah. You know, like it's it'll be like, like oh, it'll give you a nerve disease, but you won't get COVID. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. But you will never that's get right. COVID. Yeah, yeah. You won't dude, feel your legs, but monkey's you won't paw. get COVID. That's what it is, man. <laughs> Alan, you said you're in. <laughs> I, no, I think I'd wait. I'd you wait. wait. You'd yeah. wait. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd wait one month. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's released. I have one month uh, yeah. date. Well, right, do. dude. Yeah. That's how I used to buy Madden video games. <laughs> 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 you just wait. You wait for a month. See what the hype's about. Right. New hit steak. Okay. Right. <laughs> Played it at my friend Mitch's house. Seems pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy. I'll buy Madden. <laughs> Uh, Jonas, are you gonna get it? You gonna get a vaccine? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna see how it. You know, after it goes through all the Chinese people, I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just oh, wait wow. and see. They're gonna drop it. They're gonna give it to the Chinese people first. What? Absolutely. They're not. When they, they're not gonna give it to us first. They're trying it in China right now. They're trying it in China right now. Right now, they're trying it. So they're gonna run through them first. We'll see how it goes. You know, a couple billion. You know, it goes okay. Then I'm gonna let you guys try it first. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know, man. You don't even have to worry about China. I'll let you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man, if I, I'll go to China right now. I'll get yeah. I got your info, dude. I'll send you a message. <laughs> oh my so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude, uh, two more things real quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's National uh, Indian Pudding Day. Oh yeah, uh, right. November thirteenth, right. which of course, when you when anyone hears this, it won't be anymore. But <laughs> November thirteenth national is National Indian Pudding Day, and I was excited because I thought it was like Bayish, which is this Indian rice pudding that you see in like restaurants and stuff. Right. It's like sweet, and it's actually bread pudding that's co- from like colony times that they brought to Indians. Like the New Englanders were like, "Here's this bread pudding. It's oh. called Indian pudding." So it's like 20, we authentic. just can't win in 2020 right. anymore. Yeah. Man. It's no. just like, so this is white people's pudding. This is white people's pudding, and it's called That's Indian put bread pudding. Oh, wow, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, man. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey I'm, I feel sorry. better actually. Yeah, right. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. I mean, that's a little bit of that British colonial influence. It is pudding. It, that, I mean, that's pudding. Yeah, pudding. yeah. That's that's a that's that a, is. Yeah. There, there's nothing more British than pudding, dude. That's, that's as European real. white as it gets. Yeah, that was Modi's that's, slogan: make pudding. Right. <laughs> right. Indian make again. pudding Indian again. Right. Pudding's good. <laughs> pudding is good. <laughs> pudding is good. <laughs> it is. Forget pudding. about pudding. <laughs> Pudding's fucking good, dude. I gotta get some pudding. <laughs> <laughs> pudding is also the perfect pudding. word to describe right. or what right. it looks like. You know. 
dude, it's because it's, it's not quite yogurt. It's not quite Jello. Yeah, it's perfectly in the middle. It's right yeah. in the middle. It's not a milkshake. But every, but, but every couple years, yeah, it gets Jello's. Jello's too. If I'm getting Jello, yeah, I'm gonna get pudding. I'm Jello's I'll just yeah, go for to sure. pudding. Yeah, Jello's like the the Why Molly. Would I settle for Jello. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. I don't like that it's a neon. That freaks me out about it. Well, like Jello's so, like yeah. yeah. But I like how you get it at a place and it comes with the with the with the wafers now. The Nutella wafers. Oh, you getting the oh, nice wow. shit. Yeah. You're, you're an Erewhon getting the nice yeah. ass. Wow, did I just blow my shit up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Listen, you Jell-O get wafers. Shit. Right. Right. You know what? Let's, you know. <laughs> you got a side dish. And you guys don't realize that? Like pudding is like always a little bit revolutionized every couple of years. They always put a little something in there. Uh, again, I'm not plugged into the pudding oh, scene. Yeah, I know. Not wow. the Indian opiate <laughs> <Yeah>. scene. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Indian opiate scene. I, need to, I need to get plugged in on this oh, shit. Oh, yeah. The pudding, pudding revolutions. Yeah, they happening. go great with some wafers. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. All right, good tip. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your pudding with some wafers, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It's a great tip. Yeah. Have some. Uh, it's also National Happiness Day, so that's great, man. Happy you guys. <laughs> ha- happy we got to do this. Happy that's you guys are here, man. It is. Communities don't yeah. celebrate that. What? Oh, you guys. <laughs> you guys celebrate. You anti-celebrate? Anti-celebrate? <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck, fuck National Happiness Day. Is it really National Happiness Day? Apparently it is, man. What is the... what? Okay, what's the second part of that? What are they That's it. to do? That's yeah. it. It's just you're supposed to spread happiness. You don't get to just say that it's yeah. that. You gotta yeah. spread yeah. happiness. There has to be like... Just spread happiness. That's how bad yeah. it's gotten. We need a day to do that shit now. I just think you told me this at the end of the day. There's nothing I can do now. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's past midnight, right. actually. The day's yeah. over. It's actually, mad the whole day, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 you just told them. Right. <laughs> oh, man. National well, happiness. yeah, I dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, no, it's good. But it's good, you know, by the time, I guess every day should be National Happiness Day. That's right. Should, yeah. Make someone happy today, guys. I appreciate you guys going wholesome for me there at the end. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, that's a great note to end on. Yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah, huh? yeah, you know. All right. Well, cool. Uh, subscribe if you want. Okay, bye. <laughs> Papaya 9. Not do. Papaya 9 Bar News.